government of India does not. National Youth Parliament scheme. Through this scheme, mock questions of the parliament are arranged for the children so that they can put up their ideas and know the working of parliament. So, we the students of class 9 and 10 have arranged mock questions of parliament. The objective of this youth parliament is to strengthen the youth of them. The objective of this youth parliament is to strengthen the rules of democracy, inculcate healthy habits of discipline, tolerance of the view of others, and to enable the student community to know the procedure and the practices of the parliament. Thank you. Next, 
Mr. Sridhar Kharia, Honorable Minister of Mineral and Resources, and Master Vishak Desai, Honorable Minister of Industries and Commerce. Honorable Madam, I hope that through the introduction of these two ministers, our government will function more effectively. Thank you. I now move to the question of question number one on one, Mr. Garar. Honorable Speaker, will the Minister of Education be pleased to state the stat of the new NEP? Whether the new syllabus has been prepared at the university level as well as at the school level? And if so, the details thereof and in which way the new syllabus is different from the previous one? Thank you. Education is a subject of one-third list of the constitution, state and central both are equally responsible for providing a quality education to each and every child. The implementation of NEP requires several initiatives and actions which will have to be taken by the Ministry of Education and other government in a synchronized and systematic manner. The NEP provides different guidelines as well as the principles and methodology for its implementation. The NDP also provides careful planning, joint monitoring, and proper implementation by central and state. For higher education, the implementation of NDP is required. So, the Ministry of Education, central government, state government, as well as the union territorial government has took the initiative. The University Grant Commission has created a framework for implementation of NEP and uh, it provides a good education to all the undergraduate students. Thank you. Any supplementary questions? Yes, Master It was mentioned, or Devil's Speaker, it was mentioned that new education policy 2020 involves and on ensuring universal access to education. How does the God propose or how does the God propose to ensure early childhood care and education with a new circular and pedagogical structure? Honorable Speaker, with emphasis on early education and childhood care, the Kansas school structure is to be replaced by a 5 plus, 3 plus, 3 plus for school curricular structure. It is very important as it means the age group 3 to 6 under school curricular as it is a critical and a very crucial stage for a child's development. Thank you. Yes, Mr. Mana. Honorable Speaker. It was mentioned that in NEP 2022 initiative is Mission Reform in Education. Will there be any change regarding the board exam of 10th and 12th? Honorable Minister of Education, Honorable Speaker, anything as you say, it is a shift from the seventh. It is a shift from summative assessment to a regular assessment. As Mr. Mano said, there will be no change in the World exam for 10th and 12th. It will be conducted regularly as a holistic development of students. Thank you. No more supplementaries. Question number one or two. Master Vitansho is Honorable Speaker, will the Minister of Youth Affairs and Sports to be pleased whether the government has introduced any state related to special awards given to, given to international winners? in international schools and their coaches. If so, where is the retail? In three years and in this current year, there is no retail. Why? Why this is happening? Why? Thank you. Any 
Or they must be good. The government is paid to support the sports person after the retirement from every school. When the Minister of Sports states whether the government has any plans to provide assistance to the sports person, and if so, the details and the results were both. Thank you. Honorable Minister of Sports, any comments, please? Honorable Speaker, the government provides support to the sports person after their retirement through the scheme of pension to mentor the sports person. From their active sport. Through this, through this scheme, ranging 12,000 to 20,000 provide to ex sports person. Thank you. Question number 103, Miss Honorable Speaker, I beg to call the attention of Finance Minister to see the problem India is facing, that is inflation. The Indian economy is gripped by the unprecedented inflation. According to the latest data, the percentage of Indian inflation has increased to 7% in August 2022, which is highest since October 2020. The, the prices of food and fuel are increasing and people are suffering, but the government doesn't care about it. Thank you. Under the chair, the government is fully aware about the price rising in India. The India's petition has adopted to oppose the tax of growth in India. Finally, India's petition is better than previous year, so we are not able to focus on it. But we will try upon our global factors have affected the economy. This is the reality. So,
Bye-bye.